Hi, welcome back to the Praxis Test Prep course. My name is Tasha, I'm a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm gonna to walk you through some practice problems for the Praxis exam 5857. That is for health and physical education. This specifically is under the health education content. Okay, let's get started. Okay, question one. Which is one of the appropriate steps in the Heimlich maneuver? So let's talk about all of the steps in the Heimlich maneuver. So step one, here are our steps. So step one is going to be call 911 because it's an emergency. Step two is going to be where you're going to be striking the back with your, with your hand against in between the shoulder blades. Step three is when you're going to have those abdominal thrusts up. So you're gonna take your hands and make a fist and thrust that up, try to get that out. Step four is going to be when you're going to alternate blows and those thrusts up. So if we look at our answers, we see that A is striking between the shoulder blades five times. That is one of the steps. So that's our answer. We don't have the rib cage. It's not wrapping our arms around the rib cage. It's around the torso, we're not holding that person upright. And we're not striking the small of that back at all. We're striking between the shoulder blades. If a person needs to look for medical related answers, but prefers not to consult a medical practitioner, which of the following can they do? to get accurate details. Rely on medical claims or rely on claims given in infomercials of medical products. So that you're not really gonna get the full picture there. Ask people on social media for medical advice. Definitely don't do that. You have no idea where their sources came from. Consult colleagues with similar medical concerns. So I also would not do this because you don't, again, know where they got their information from. Browse government health agencies for answers. This is really our only correct answer because these all these answers have been validated. So D is our correct answer. Question three, which of these is not a communicable disease? So what a communicable disease is, is any disease that can be passed, whether it's person to person or animal to person. So if we're looking at these, A, influenza can be passed person to person, same with a common cold, and rabies can be passed um, animal to person. So the only one non-communicable is A, diabetes. So that's our answer. Last question, what type of joint is in the elbow? So let's look at all of these. So the pivot joint is going to be between your radius and your ulna is going to be what's called the pivot joint. So when those actually go like this, that is where they're pivoting around each other. The saddle joint is actually going to be a joint that's in your thumb, and it kind of the reason why it's called a saddle is it looks like a horse riding a, a a horseman riding a horse. A hinge is going to be in your elbow where that's actually moving, and the ball and socket's going to be in your hip. So our answer is going to be C. That hinge joint is going to be in the elbow. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com to check out our other videos. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction for some topics you might still be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful. In the comments down below, please let us know if there's topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!